Welcome to another episode of Wine Still of the Week, where I go find a bottle that is under $20 that's punching above its weight class. Yo, 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 we're back for another steal uh, for this week, and I can't wait to get into this bottle with you guys. I hope everybody's doing well. It is Friday, and um, I'm happy it's Friday. It's been... I'm not going to say the, week, the week's been good. It's just, for whatever reason, Thursday. Whew. What a day. <laughs> I'm not going to get into it because y'all don't care about what's going on there that way. But, yeah, it was just kind of a wild day. Uh, but everything's great. Every, life, life is good. And, um, uh, by the way, uh, uh, we're coming up. I'm sorry. My nose is itching. My allergies have been kind of messing with me a little bit today. So, I may do that a lot. Um, I can still smell the wine, though. So, that's, all that, that's, that's what matters. But, um, so... Coming up in June, um, we're going to be having a uh, very intimate kind of um, book signing, me and Armando Tam. Um, it's only, we're only going to have like a, a selected few people that we wanted to invite. We're going to have a bigger one later on, probably uh, in San Francisco, uh, but we're going to have like a kind of an intimate one to start off with uh, in Napa Valley at Solorio Wine, uh, Solorio Vineyard. And um, so if you're interested in that, please DM me. And I'll let you know, um, you know, how, how to sign up for before we run out of spots. Um, and, yeah, uh, please do that. Other than that, uh, you guys are not here for any of that. You guys are here for the wine. So let's get into the wine. Um, I don't know if this is going to be a steal. I think I, uh, I, I'm sure I um, reviewed it, this same wine um, for, like, it was a, a 2015, I believe, or 14 uh, version of this wine with a different label. So we're going to see how this one is. Today we're in Washington State. We're talking about Undaunted 2019 uh, Malbec out of Columbia Valley. So let's see if you guys can see that. There you go. You can see a little bit of that label. So Columbia Valley 2019 Malbec. Let's go ahead and get on the nose and see what's going on in the nose. On the nose. So I immediately get black plum. I'm I'm getting like kind of like a uh, f- like a sliced like very s- freshly sliced black plum, perfectly ripe. I'm also getting like a little bit of a spice here too. Kind of like a cumin thing, it's kind of exotic. There's also a little bit of a violets play for floral uh, jumping out the glass. Secondary, I get a black olive going on here too. Has a bit of a leather smell. And this is more of like a new leather smell. I'm getting, um, I'm also getting a little bit of cassis and blackberries here too. Kind of on the blackberry side though, more like kind of a bitter black, like blackberries with the, with the uh, seeds in them. You know, so if you know how you bite into a blackberry sometimes and they have like that seed and then you get that like bitter taste, I'm getting that. And a little bit of like a white pepper going on. Let's see what's going on in the palate. Nice, nice black and blue fruit up front. Um, you're getting, I guess, you're getting again that black plum. You're actually getting a little bit of blueberry going on here too. More in the third, or sorry, in the second quarter. Uh, it kind of pops in and stays there to the finish. Little, that uh, cassis thing is there too. I'm catching that more in the uh, second. And it, it's there and it goes away. Um, tannins are... Medium. Tannins are round and medium. Not so angular or sharp. Um, acid is... Acid is at the higher point, hi- higher end of, uh, of medium. More like medium plus for red wine. Because um, this has a decent amount of acid here. But I wanna, I'm want i going to say it's the high end of medium. It's not medium plus exactly. This is a medium plus bodied wine. It's a bold wine. It does dip a little bit in the mid palate, but I mean, it finishes strong. The finish is quite long. This is a good bottle. I like it. It has a little bit of a bitterness on the finish that I'm catching. Um, maybe that's the blackberry thing I was talking about. You because you are getting blackberries on here, but a little bit of, like blackberries with the seeds. So you're getting like a little bit of a bitterness on the finish. But I dig it. I like a little bit of bitterness with my wine. Um. 
I like it. I really, really like this wine. Um, and it's definitely a, it's definitely a still, in my opinion. Um, if I was to, or where you can, well, let me tell you how much, I, what I would rate it. If I was to rate this wine, I'd be probably looking at, um, I would say this is 80, this is 88. This is about an 88 wine. I, I, I dig it quite a bit and I would buy another bottle of this. Um, it is more, mostly fruit forward. Uh, so some earthy things, some of that, um, like, Anything like like tertiary notes that you would that you may get in some Malbecs, you're definitely not getting here. This is very fruit forward, but it's not overly fruit forward, and it finishes dry. Um, there's a little bit of like a salty olive thing going on that I'm catching kind of in the third quarter to the finish. This is the wine, eighty eight. Um, where I found this wine was at Whole Foods for fourteen ninety nine. So definitely a still, this is pushing above its weight class. It's more, I would say this is more a $25 bottle of wine, in my opinion. Um, other than that, guys, um, I want to thank everybody who's been rocking with me thus far. I know it's been a long journey. We've been having some fun, and I'm going to continue to, you know, uh, give you, bring you guys stills every week. So everybody's been rocking with me. Thank you. Uh, and then people who are brand new to my channel, thank you for taking the time out of your day to even check me out, check out my wine stuff. Um, I'm trying to grow a community here, and um, I'm here to educate, but also to be educated. So if you know of anything that you I may have missed or that you uh, want to impart to me, please DM me, uh, and, you know, we can go back and forth because um, I'm always willing to learn, and I want us to grow together learning about wine. Uh, this is not a pretentious sport. This is a sport where everybody should be welcome with open arms, and as long as you don't come to my channel pretentious, we don't, we don't get along. So um, other than that... Also, if you guys want a signed copy of uh, of It's a Vibe um, at Eno, I work there uh, during the day, uh, uh, throughout the week. Not every day, but every, throughout the week. And um, feel free to just drop in Eno if you're in San Francisco area. Um, I'll sign your sign your copy of It's a Vibe. Um, and also, if you're there between four and six, we have a great happy hour. Um, it's twenty percent off of everything on the menu, all the wines, bottles, everything. And so come through, get a glass of wine, chop it up with me, get a signed copy of It's a Vibe, and yeah, let's have some fun. Question of the day. I'm going to talk Malbec here, right? So between two areas, I'm going to do New World Malbec, but I'm st I'm kicking out Argentina. I'm going Malbec, if you've had one from Washington State, Malbec from Washington State, or Malbec from uh, California. Let's fight. Uh, hit me up and let me know what you think, and... Um, there's no wrong answers. Uh, until next time, guys, cheers. Have a nice weekend. Check out my online store, fruitandglassgear.etsy.com, where all the gear is wine-inspired. Uh, I think you'll love it. It's comfortable, and just check it out. Cheers, guys.